here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform now welcome to video number 14 and in this video we are going to start finite Fourier sine and cosine transform okay here you can see the word that is finite okay so before I start this video I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier transform with your friends in this way you can support me so let us start the for the finite Fourier sine transform okay here the word finite is used the finite Fourier sine transform of any function f of x in the range that is 0 to c okay here you can see the range is from 0 to c but in previous videos the limit was from 0 to infinity okay so that was infinite Fourier sine transform okay but here the limit is from 0 to c c may be any number okay so because since c is finite value so here we are learning about we are studying about finite Fourier sine transform okay of function f of x in the range that is 0 to c c may be any constant is defined by yes finite Fourier sine transform okay is equals to integration 0 to c f of x sine n pi x upon c dx where n is any integer okay n is any integer now here we have Fourier sine transform okay finite Fourier sine transform and let's suppose you want to find f of x from this it means we need to find the inverse finite Fourier trans sine transform okay that is the function f of x okay that is inverse finite Fourier sine transform of function fs okay this s is in the subscript okay is given by f of x equals to 2 upon c summation n equals to 1 to infinity fs n okay this is this is what finite Fourier sine transform okay into sine n pi x upon c okay you need to remember this formula and this formula as well okay both the formulas are very important regarding finite Fourier sine transform and inverse finite Fourier sine transform okay now after this we will see what is finite Fourier cosine transform and inverse finite Fourier cosine transform okay yes here we have the Fourier the finite Fourier cosine transform for any function f of x in the interval that is 0 to c again c is any constant okay it means we are dealing with the finite uh, limits okay so the limit is from 0 to c and the for the finite Fourier cosine transform for any function f of x is given by yes this is fc okay fc of n equals to integration 0 to c f of x cos n pi x upon c dx okay now let's suppose you want to find f of x and this part is given to you in the problem this is given and you want to find this it means we need to find the inverse finite Fourier sine cosine transform okay the function f of x that is inverse finite Fourier cosine transform of fc okay that is finite Fourier cosine transform is given by f of x okay f of x equals to 1 upon c okay this equals to 1 upon c into fc0 okay fc0 plus 2 upon c summation n equals to 1 to infinity fc n into cos n pi x upon c okay you need to remember both the results okay both the end results are very 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 important okay and in the next video we are going to solve this problem okay we are going to solve this important problem thank you